continuing from my last video where we proved that if this was a triangle ABC and uh, BD was <coughs> vertical or perpendicular to AC, we proved this mother triangle ABC is similar to the daughter triangle ADB and then we proved AB squared, this side squared is AD times AC by proving these two triangles ABC. ABC is similar to ADB. Now we are going to prove the second part of the second dotted triangle is same is similar. So ABC, ADB, BDC are right angles and you want to prove that ABC is similar to the second dotted triangle BDC. The proof is almost the same. So I have copied and pasted ABC, the mother triangle outside and I have taken BDC and flip that over and BDC can look like this. Okay, now the right angles are equal. Now to prove two triangles similar, what is that you have to prove? That all the angles are equal. So the angle, right angles are equal. Now this angle, this angle is equal to this angle. Why? Because they are the same angle. You say A, a, C, B, A, C, B, or B, C, D, they mean the same angle. So let me write for triangle A, B, C and triangle B, D, C, B, D, C. The letters are important, the order is also important. So I can say angle ABC is equal to angle BDC. Why? Because both 90 degree, or both are right angles. I can say angle ACB, angle ACB or ACB in this triangle is equal to angle B, C, D. Why? Because they refer to the same angle. Same angle. Okay, so again my argument is if this is Y, this would also be Y. And if it, this is 90 and this is Y, this has to be 90 minus Y. The same argument if this is 90 and this is Y, this angle has also to be 90 minus y because the three angles of any triangle adds to 180. So now I can say angle BAC, angle BAC is equal to angle DBC, DBCY because we just proved that both are equal to 90 minus y. Okay, let me write, write like this. Both are 90 minus y. Both are 90 minus y, or both are equal. Therefore, I can say the triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDC. If two triangles are similar, the sides are proportional. Sides are proportional means if you take the ratio of the corresponding sides, they would be equal. So, if the, if the triangles are uh, similar, I can say AB over, if you take AB, I have to take BD. The ratio of AB over BD is equal to BC, BC over DC is equal to AC over BC. Okay, now what is that you want to prove? We want to prove BC square is CD into AC. So I need to have BC in the numerator and denominator in the ratio. So if you look at these two ratios, you can see BC is sitting opposite to each other. So I'm going to I'm not going to talk about this now. I'm going to uh, ignore that. So I can rewrite BC over DC is equal to AC over BC.
Okay, now cross multiply as I explained in the again. Let me explain once again. Suppose say three halves is equal to six quarters. Okay, three halves is same as six quarters. So if you multiply, the equality does or is maintained. So three times four is twelve, or two times six is twelve. So twelve is equal to twelve. Okay, so we can say therefore BC times BC is CD times AC. So BC squared is equal to CD. From this, I'm going to prove the Pythagoras theorem, which is very famous. Okay, CD times AC. Though I didn't want to prove it in this video, I will. I think we'll finish it off. Okay, so that was my ultimate goal. So. <coughs> We have proved two results. A, B, C. Okay, we proved this. A, B squared is A, D into A, C. From this, and here we proved. So, let us rewrite both the results. So, let me draw the triangle. Let me copy the triangle. Uh, okay, so, so, if I copy this, uh, Okay, I'll only copy the triangle. Mm, copy, and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, paste, yeah. And I'm going to draw the perpendicular. Okay, I don't, I'm not wasting time, so let me write the letters here again. This is A, B, C, and D. Okay, so this is a right angle, and this will also be a right angle. So we proved two results. A B square, A B squared is A D into, A B squared is A D into, <coughs> A C. So let me write that. So can I say A B squared is equal to A D into A C? And the second result we just proved is B C squared is equal to CD, CD into AC. Okay, so if I add AB squared plus BC squared, what will happen? AB squared plus BC squared is equal to, what is AB squared? AB squared is AD times AC. I'll put a big plus, plus, because of this plus, you got BC squared, which is CD into AC. Okay, therefore, I'll rewrite AB squared plus BC squared. Okay, now what can you factor out? You've got an AC here, and you've got an AC here. So if you factor out an AC, what will you have? You'll have AD from here plus CD. Now look in your figure and tell me, what is AD plus CD? AD plus CD is nothing but AC. So, we can say therefore, AB squared plus BC squared is equal to AC times AC. And that's the Pythagoras theorem. AB squared plus BC squared is equal to AC squared. See you in the next